Your boy's gonna do something risky right now. Um, I haven't deadlifted this much without a belt in ever. Uh, and you already know your boy get, her get his hernia prone. So it's gonna be a risk, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> because why the f not? So it's 365. Gelato. I don't get a lot of gelato, so I got gelato. It's really good. I got mango. I got watermelon. I'm gonna go wild cherry as well. And now I got chocolate. And a pepperoni pizza. I don't know what Haley got. And Haley keeps running away from the camera. I don't think she wants to be on camera. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, well, you just you heard Haley, so I promise she exists. <laughs> we're on our way to Emma's dad's house right now. I think we're gonna take a quick dip. Not a quick dip, we're gonna be there for, I guess, a while, eh? I hope so. Yeah, me too. Because I would really just like to vibe out for the rest of the day and chill. You know where we're going? Yeah, yeah I know where we're going. I mean, how could I forget with the friggin... I got I gotta know where the drones are with the anti-aircraft missiles attached to them. Guys, if I just write you the street names of this place, you guys would be like, alright, you don't belong here. There's... What oh, the there's a wedding or something. That's a birthday Bridal party. Bridal shower. No. Look, right oh, look, now, like a baby shower. I think it's a baby shower. It's a baby shower, and there's more gifts there than I've seen in my entire life, which is going on right now. Holy oh, crap. Oh, wait, no, that looks like a bridal shower. Oh, it looks like a bridal shower, but still. It's a nice bridal Oh, yeah, there's a drone. You see it? The one with the, the, the ticking red light with the laser pointed at my car right now? Yeah, but once it identifies it's your car, it's fine. No, that's the thing. <laughs> this is a Ford Focus and a neighborhood full of Ferraris. That means they know it's you. <laughs> yeah, which means their their auto lock is on. Look oh. at these berries. I've been formally tasked to carry the strawberries into the house and try not to get shot. Look at this. I do not belong here. There's the front door. Is that the polite way to go? I don't know. We just showed up. I don't so. Think I, uh, that's the thing. I don't know if there is a polite way because we just showed up. <laughs> I think we knock on the front door. Yeah, I, feel, I feel like typically you'd rather just knock on the front door. Oh wow, there goes a drone. You can hear the drone gunshots in the background. Oh, I'm FaceTiming you. Hello. 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 What's up, Brutus? <laughs> hey, grumpy pants.
place is so big that I lost Emma. Oh, there you are. I thought you went in here. I thought you went inside here. No. You go change. You barbarian. Ooh. Screw the snorkel. I see unicorns. The pool has its own house. And I just got my first house, and this pool's probably had a house longer than I had. You guys already know it's Shark Boy Summer. We seem to have made a new friend right now. And he's not running away, and I don't know why. I see you, dog. Are you just trying to stay still so I don't eat you? I'm not gonna eat you. What's up? Are you waiting for mommy? Is mommy flying around here somewhere? Where's mommy? Oh! Is that your nest, little guy? That's your nest. But where's mummy? Okay, well, I guess you're just hanging out here. I'll let you be. I'll let you do your birdie stuff and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't feed you, dude. No, 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 I'm not feeding you. I'm not feeding you. That's mummy's job. Where's mummy? Is that your home over there? Oh, Brutus is not happy about this. Where's mummy? All right. I'll let you, uh, are you trying to eat my phone? No, you're not gonna eat my phone. I'll let you be though, okay? You have a good day. Thanks for coming. Who's a good boy? Or maybe it's Bibi, I don't remember. Who's a good boy? Bibi. Hi, Bibi. Okay. Emma Humani. Emma Humani. Is that your phone on the camera? Yes, sir. I didn't need to do that. that I, like, I meant to kick the door open, but I didn't mean to drop that. Yanzi, Tanya, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to drop that. I swear to God, I'm so sorry. But I finally been waiting for me to open this. So Katie, this one's for you, my friend Dog Bowler. And inside it is a little letter. Dear Ali, here is $5 Canadian to love Max with. I love you guys so much. Love, Katie. Thank you, Katie. I promise you I'm gonna put this $5 to good use for Max. I'm gonna get him some balls, and he'll be really happy that he has his balls back. <laughs> we got this bad boy over here from Yanzi and Tanya. Tanya, I, you told me how to say it. Can't remember if it's Tanya or Tanya, and I'm so sorry. That's my face on a blanket. What? This is a Superman workout shirt. This is a WandaVision shirt for Emma. This is beautiful, thank you. Oh my God, you guys are crazy. Are these Superman pants too? You guys are incredible. Thank you guys so much for the fan mail. Um, this is so, so sweet. I love you guys. This is, I'm so excited right now. The camera angle change. You guys weren't ready for that, huh? That's right. The boy stepped it up. Bet you didn't realize there was light in the background too. I've had these lights forever. I just, I just don't use them because. Shit. Okay, they're his lights. What's up, gangsta? Are you staying for the video? Well, you work free? Okay, you want to pay? Me, you want me to pay with ass, huh? Okay. This is Kovu. He's the grumpy cat of the house. He has successfully fought every animal that we own, and I think he got into a fight with Emma once. I think he won. Let us dive into what we're doing today. Finally. Okay, my guy. I'm really trying to type here, D. We're playing the Midnight Man game, and I have a reason. I have a reason why. I have a reason as to why I'm playing the Midnight Man game. But let me. Let me dump. <laughs> Jump, not dump. I'm not gonna, you're throwing me off my game, my guy. It is believed that the Midnight Game was once an old pagan ritual used to, as a punishment for those who dare disobey the gods. Or at least that's how it is positioned. Still though, it has become very popular for thrill seekers, largely because it's easily performed in your own home with minimal supplies, which it really is. It really, like this is like, if you can season your food and you got something sharp, you can do this ritual. Not that I recommend it, do not do this ritual. But if you do, get yourself a friend like Tanya that can get you some of these. As with most games that we play on this channel, proceed at your own risk. In fact, it says proceed at your own risk if you must proceed at all. In fact, it's actually recommended that you don't play this game at all. So we're gonna play this game. <laughs> Um, players, one principle, at least that's me. Requirements, a candle, a lighter, piece of paper, a writing implement, a pen, a pin, something you could prick your finger with that is sterilized, 
a wooden door that will be closed, and salt, which I will get from somewhere. Begin prior to midnight. Write your full name, first, middle, and last on a piece of paper with your writing implement. Prick your finger with the pin and squeeze until a drop of blood appears. Dot the blood on the paper and allow it to soak in. Turn off every light in your home. Place the paper with your name and blood on it in front of the closed wooden door. Light the candle using the matches or the lighter and place it on top of the paper. So you gotta put the paper underneath the candle. Knock on the door 22 times. The final knock must occur precisely when the clock chimes at 12 a.m. Open the door, blow out the candles and close the door. And then relight your candle immediately. Well, that's kind of redundant. Why would I blow it out in the first place? The main event. Keep your candle in hand, salt and matches or lighter close and begin to move around your house. Should your candle go out, you must relight it within the next 10 seconds. If you are successful, continue moving along your home. Do not stop moving until 3.33 a.m. If you are unsuccessful in relighting the candle, immediately surround yourself with a circle of salt and remain in the circle until 3.33 a.m. The ending at 3.33 a.m. It is safe to stop moving and step outside of your salt circle. You may turn on the lights and the game is over. So. This isn't a ritual that you have to end yourself, thankfully, because a lot of you guys have pointed out I really never end anything. And I'm working on that. This invitation welcomes an entity known as the Midnight Man inside your home. The goal of the game is to avoid meeting the Midnight Man in the dark. So if, it's, if you find him in the daytime, you're good, you're Gucci, you guys can chill, say hi, salam alaikum, whatever you want, but don't find him in the dark. Continually moving around your home will make it more difficult for him to find you. Should you stop moving at any point, he will catch you. I thought he may catch you, but no, he will. Occur accounts differ as to what befalls a player caught by the Midnight Man. Some claim he will induce a hallucination of your worst fear until the end of the game. Others claim that he will remove your organs one by one. Both outcomes are to be avoided at all costs. Really, the outcome of having my organs removed is to be avoided. Well, maybe. I don't know. Now, here's why I'm doing this. So I, I feel like these games are like, something like this is up to interpretation. My goal is not to invite the Midnight Man himself, but to call on whatever is here to see if we can get them to show themselves and in turn get them to leave or talk to them or communicate with them and get a better understanding as to what the is going on. Because you guys, your guess is as good as mine as to what is going on here. So that's why I feel like that these things are up into... What I'm really thinking happens in this game is this game kind of invites whatever spirits are around you or any, any entities that are around you. And that's why some people are successful at playing this game and some people aren't successful playing this game. I think it's because it depends on what is around you. So let's say your house is haunted and you play this game, well that might actually summon whatever is there. But if your house isn't haunted and you play this game and nothing happens, that's probably why, that's how I see these things. Um, and I f I'm just some dickhead with a camera. You know what I mean? So like, I don't actually know if anything that I'm saying right now makes sense. It's a, a theory. It is still daylight out. I have to wait till just before midnight to start and then uh, we'll get things going. Before I get started, I need you guys to do me a massive favor and you guys to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And Twitch, actually, your boy's streaming games. If you guys wanna come, hang out, say hi. It's a lot of fun. We have a great community on Twitch with some great, great mods, and it's always a good time. If you guys dig the pink, which you should, you might wanna cop yourself a pink blessed hoodie because legit, the pink ones are fire. Check them out in the link in the description below or pinned in the top comment or under the store somewhere. Check out your merch if you want to support your boy. And now let's finally get into today's video. My homie just dipped. Don't know why. Really thought we had something going on here. Really thought we were building a relationship. Obviously he doesn't want to continue the friendship. And honestly, I don't know how to feel about that. I loved him for the past 11 years and he just, what the, for real, he actually just left me for a cat. Max is doing that thing where he, like, I'm actually pulling on him right now. He refuses to go on the walk. He wants to stay with Emma for some reason. I think he's, I think there's, a, you got, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the condo, he would do this as well when he got scared of something inside the house and he didn't want to leave Emma by herself. Like, I'm actually yanking him. He went right back. Come on. Max, come here. Let's, guys, and like, legit watch. I put the leash down, look what he does. 
Like he's trying to go back inside. He's afraid of something. He's afraid of something inside the house. It's 11.57 right now. We're about to start the game. Uh, it's prior to midnight. I gotta prick my finger now. Which I am really not looking forward to. Whoa, that is... Ow. That's not pleasant at all. Actually, it's probably better that you guys didn't see that because YouTube will probably demonetize that. All right, so it's 11.59. I have this here. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna knock on the door. 21 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I have one minute before I have to um, knock the last time and then once we do that, we get to blow out the candle, relight the candle, and then start the game. So, I think we're, we're almost there. Come on. What is that? There we go. Three, two. Okay. And then I guess we close the door. And we open the door. Uh, I think we're good to start. Um, I just got to pretty much walk around the house and see if we find anything, I guess. I don't know. I'm excited though. salt with me. Cannot forget these two. So lighter and salt. This you are oh I left my phone. I'm not crazy. I'm not leaving that. Uh -uh. I might need it in case we get in danger or anything. Um so here's the thing. This is the most haunted room in the house. And I feel like if anything were to happen, it would be in here. So. If the Midnight Man is here, please show yourself. What the fuck? Oh, I have a certain amount of time. Come on. Come on. Ah, ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. We're good. As soon as I started playing, he showed up. How do I get the thing to stop? Like, I'm just so fascinated by it because it, it always plays, and then whenever it plays, nothing comes out of it. Like, it just it just plays, and that's it. What the? What the? F Something burned the notepad with my hand. Hello? S 
something burnt that. What the? Can I check the bathroom? Oh shit! No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh my god. You guys see that? Turn the light off on myself. Freaking finesse of a lifetime. Something in here? Okay. You gotta make sure, you know? You never know. You never know when you're gonna you're gonna play yourself. What the fuck? Oh no. No 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 no. Come on. Okay. Okay. This just went out by itself that time. I turned off myself accidentally in there. And it turned off in there. And I, this door was closed. I swear to God, I had this door closed. I don't know if you guys saw it closed, but I swear to God, this door was closed. And I swear to God, those lights were not red. They were not red. And a sign that whatever entity is here is that this, 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 this goes out and that the temperature drop, like a typical, typical entity stuff. What the fuck? Stay! It's... Oh fuck, the thing's broken. No. No. The, the thing's not moving. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, that's 10 seconds. No. I have a salt circle! I have a circle of salt! What the fuck is that noise? Did you guys hear that? Come on. Oh no 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 That thing just fucking blew apart my salt circle. No. How the Wait, what do I do? 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 What do, I do? I, that's the only thing I had to, to, to protect me, is a salt circle. I'm leaving my light on! This is supposed to help me. This one. Tanya, thank you for this. Bro, you don't not want to go in there. Whatever you are, I command you to show yourself. Whatever you are. Okay, so we, we like, we're breaking the rules at this point and I don't know if I, I can continue with this game because 
breaking the rules of this game is, is, is I, I I didn't come into this game to, 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 to break the rules. That's not what I wanted to do. I came to this game to get some answers and I, I don't know how I'm gonna get some now. Like I, I really didn't get into this to to, um, to to break any rules. Like that's not what I wanted to do. And, ow! Stupid robot. Malthus, Moloch! I command you to show yourself. Reveal yourself if you're here. Cheesy ass fucking ghost. You're giving me a red room. Fuck out of here with your bullshit. Fuck that. Bro, it's literally just me and the cats in the house right now and I'm... <sighs> okay, here's the sitch. Your boy is getting in here. Your boy is gonna... Here's, here's what's gonna happen, here's what's going down. Man's is not fucking getting in here, no way. You're not gonna catch me. Your boy is literally gonna wait here until 3.33 in the morning. And that's literally all I can do. Because, man, <laughs> No. You can't come in here! It's forbidden. This is a house of God. You are not welcome in here. Did you guys just see that? Did you just... No. I swear to God, I just saw eyes. I just saw fucking eyes in the corner of the room. It's 1.30. Um... It's, nothing's happened since. I've just been kind of chilling, hanging out, just legit, just on TikTok. From from being honest with you guys, I've just been chilling on TikTok. What the fuck did I just get myself into? I'm so scared to see this thing. Actually, okay, Google, turn on all the lights in the house. I've heard a lot of things about the Midnight Man and 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 all that kind of stuff. Like, oh, it's it's not something you fuck with and not something you fuck around with and shit. But like. Yo, like, for real, Bur burning the paper with my name on it, like, is that a f***ing sign? Is it Moloch? Is it, because if you guys remember way back when, when I talked about Moloch when I was at the condo, um, that he was given, as, as children were given to him as sacrifices, and the method they used was burning. So is that, like, a symbol that I'm going to be used as a sacrifice for Moloch? This is a long haul, so I'm, I'm just getting comfortable now. Yo, I went to the beach the other day, and look at this. Your boy did not put sunscreen on. And I'm like half tanned. Like I put sunscreen on like a little bit of my shoulders, but not the rest of my arm. So I'm like half tanned right now. And it's not looking good if I'm being honest with you guys. Um, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I'm trying to keep my mind off what's going on. If I don't, if I, if I end up falling asleep, I'm going to continue this in the morning. Because I'm, I'm starting to get to that point where it's like... Man's is getting sleepy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay, if I do fall asleep and I don't get a chance and I forget to say this, I just wanna say I love you guys and you guys are incredible and I appreciate all your support. Tough times don't, nah, 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 tough times don't last, tough people do. You got this, you matter. Every single person on this planet is able to make a change, whether small or big. Small changes matter just as much as big changes because it's a lot of small changes that cause the big ones, okay? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling, but I just want, well, the idea is that you guys matter and I love you. Okay. And you should love yourself. It's 4.04 in the morning now. And I, I just woke up and all the, like the closets are all open right now. And it like, it looks like something like went into mine and like pulled shit out. I know it's not the cleanest closet, but everything fit. And it looks like something pulled something out of my closet. I don't know what, like, like those are fucking socks. I don't know what I was trying to do with socks, but those are, I swear to God, those are like socks and underwear, I think. 
um that's not beside that's beside like something opened up all my closets and there there's salt in front of the door still so um i don't know Emma, what is your diagnosis? Oh, he's a freaking idiot. What the fork did you just say? This is a family-friendly channel. You get that mean... Wow. Okay. Uh